Hello, welcome back. So now things have been a little confusing with me changing my channel name, and then you're thinking, wait, but your channel intro says this, and you're taking your channel in this direction. Why are you making this video? Well, this channel is about to go in a ton of different directions. As you can see here before, as I mentioned, my 3D printer is under three. Soon it's May the 4th, and I don't think you guys know, I'm, I'm kind of a history and Star Wars fan. Um, so I'm going to be printing some lightsabers using my black pet G for the hilt. And I'm going to use some red PLA for the saber, and then I'm going to get some more filament to do it. So that's going to be fun. Yeah, I also got a new Bowden tube for it. because I got a Capcorn one because, well, my other one was failing, and I got a metal bed. Which you guys have probably seen before. Sure, I'm gonna have to go rewatch my old videos. Also, um, I'm in a month. I am being assigned a, a Q and P project in my in my school. Now, we just finished one of those, and the Q and P um, is a quality novel project. Now, why am I mentioning this? Because this is actually an opportunity for me to do a short film specifically for school. So I chose a book called All Quiet on the Western Front. I saw the 1979 version of the movie. Um, it is deemed as the greatest war novel of all time. And as seeing the movie, I can quite agree that this book should be very good. Um, Probably after I read the book, I am going to watch the Old Quiet on the Western Front 1930 original movie version because, well, I heard it's more accurate to the book. Um, yeah, I also recently watched a very good war film that I think is seriously underrated because people don't give it much attention, but it should be the second best war film under... Um, of course, under All Quiet on the Western Front, which is, of course, 1917. Get ready for a review of that on this channel. Now, even though all of this stuff, the lightsabers, with my 3D printer, the book project, which is being assigned in a, actually like a month, and I'm just collecting the props, so actually expect some, in order to pass the time, I'll do some reviews on the props to show like well I, I'll do reviews on the props um, to pass some of the time of course and then after that this project is going to go way past May 4th it's probably going to go all the way into the summer because I'm going to print all kinds of variations of lightsabers if I can and I found really cool extendable ones like I found a Darth Maul one I found even Ahsoka Tano ones I found Dark Saber um, I'm printing the Darth Vader one right now. I found Obi Wan slash Luke. Um, so I found a lot of really crazy, cool ones. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So, a little more in the short film. It's gonna be. I've seen the movie. Um, but I know the book ends a little differently. How I know the book ends is that instead of, in the 1979 version of the movie, he he basically um, puts his head above the parapet of the trench, and then he tries to draw down a bird, and then he gets shot. What I heard happens in the book is that, um, is that he reaches out for a butterfly, and then he gets shot, which I think sounds a lot better. So whatever happens in the book at the very end, I'm going to try to make a copy of. I'm going to try to make a copy of the um of Paul Bomber's main character of the book Demise and the writer of the book is Eric Ramia Maria Remark. He was a World War One German veteran who of course um wrote a book and then wrote a sequel to the book uh, A Long Road Home. I think that's the name of it, something like that. So yeah, but that's but this is gonna be a long video because well I'm not done. More updates. I joined the Revolutionary War American reenactment group. And uh, so it was on the 
I, yeah, it was on the February, um, it was, it was a week, exactly a week before the 12th of February, um, I was looking online for reenactments, and it turns out that on the, I live near Huntington Beach, like a good 40 minutes away, but still, I live near it, um, uh, basically what happened is that I heard, oh, well, I haven't heard much good reenactment group down here in Southern California. I'm not actually going to go and see this reenactment. So I talked to my mom, and me and my mom went the first day on the 12th, and me and my dad went on the second day, 13th. Now on the 12th, um, my group leader, Tristan, he, uh, what he did is he, uh, he, before he was my group leader, uh, well, before I joined the group, obviously, uh, he asked me if I could be, if I wanted to be a drummer boy. So, yeah, I've been learning drumming, and here are some photos of the thing. They look pretty cool, right? Yeah, so that's the kind of kind of part of the battle it's me and a friend of mine yeah uh so anyway thank you guys for watching this very long channel update and if you want me to switch it back to film um i know i actually a friend of mine is a subscriber to this channel he's a very he he's a friend of mine at school so if he actually tells me to switch back my channel name i'll do it Yeah, and also, if you're wondering, my channel, uh, my friend's channel is Mammoth. Go subscribe to him. He's really good. See you next time.